On any given day in this country, there are probably 100,000 young people in jail, in a juvenile detention center, or in some kind of other holding, alternative to school holding situation. Now, what we found to be true was that if we incarcerated our children, we locked them up, and we treated them as they were adults, uh, it actually didn't work out so well. The simplest, easiest, most rational solution pathway is uh, youth court, teen court, peer court. Teen court is meant for first time nonviolent youthful offenders between the ages of 15 and 18 years old. And a lot of times it is very minor incidents, uh, particularly in a school setting. Um, it could be uh, disorderly conduct, which might be just misbehavior, but because it may be a violation of law, uh, they get arrested. The whole point of the program was a deal with youth and their first involvement with the law to hope we make it their last. Slow the system down so you could spend time with these young people to discover why they're engaged in this criminal activity. We will investigate the lives of the defendants asking questions regarding their home life, friend groups, schooling, and any history of violence. Develop skills for them that would prevent them from making these poor choices and continuing down that road. Do you understand how serious a matter could have been? And do you understand you could have been charged with a felony? Yeah. You could have gone to state prison? Yeah. So what did you learn from all this? It's a last clear chance to reroute a person, to, to get them at that moment. But they're kids, and they are going to misbehave. They're going to do things that we probably all did, but we all didn't get caught. We all didn't get caught up in the system, and we turned out successfully. It's a blessing, because there's a thousand people who was here before us didn't get the chance. A lot of people just messed up once, and that was it for them gives them a second chance, a chance to press the reset button. But at the same time, they're still being held accountable for their actions. If there wasn't teen court, most of the children who do come through would be sitting in a jail cell, and it would be that one strike and you're out. I find myself at teen court sometimes, and I, I find myself coming back home. The jury is a jury of your peers. Raise your right hand. So you also want to try to make the case to people that are your age, because they're the ones that are going to actually decide the case. You're teaching them something about our justice system that they're not otherwise learning how great. They, they should know something about how our justice system works. I have learned a lot. It did teach me a lot, a lot of rules and laws and a lot of other things that you should and shouldn't do and the type of consequences you can get for them. It's just a good experience whether you're a defendant or not. It's a lot of simple stuff that you learn here that you can just avoid and it'll make your life that much better. And I think they have to know that there are consequences to their behavior, but those consequences don't always have to involve being put into the criminal justice system. It's prevention and intervention, and sometimes that intervention coming from the hands of another youth makes a bigger impact. Could you please indicate the uh, verdict of the jury? The verdict is she shall serve 20 hours of community service and shall attend the after workshop. That's the goal, isn't it? To have the first time offense be the last one? To have the system slow down and be responsive? To have a better understanding of why a young person might be involved in behaviors? Teen court, by teaching teenagers how to do the right thing, avoids repeat offenders, avoids having those people end up in jail. Because it's an effective way at dealing with criminal activity from young people that are not mature enough at times to make good judgments. But I think you do understand that you acted inappropriately that day and that you're violating the rules and you're a bright young woman, you've got a great future ahead of you if you use your talents in the right direction. So I hope you do that, you understand? This can keep them out of the criminal justice system and this is what we need to do. And this is why we need to support teen court and programs like it. It just makes sense because in the long run, you're doing good for the society. An investment in education is an investment in the future. It's an investment that you won't have to make 10 or 15 years down the line in putting someone in a, in a prison cell. I guess this was my golden opportunity. My, my, my opportunity to change somebody else's life while changing mine. And I mean, I wish anybody had the chance to do that.